global warming potential is a relative measure of how much heat a greenhouse gas traps in the atmosphere. It compares the amount of heat trapped by a certain mass of the gas in question to the amount of heat trapped by a similar mass of carbon dioxide. A GWP is calculated over a specific time interval, commonly 20, 100 to 500 years. GWP is expressed as a factor of carbon dioxide. In the fifth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, methane has a lifetime of 12.4 years and with climate carbon feedbacks a global warming potential of 86 over 20 years and 34 over 100 years in response to emissions. User-related choices such as the time horizon can greatly affect the numerical values obtained for carbon dioxide equivalents. For a change in time horizon from 20 to 100 years, the GWP for methane decreases by a factor of approximately 3. The substance is subject to restrictions under the Kyoto Protocol either are rapidly increasing the concentrations in Earth's atmosphere or have a large GWP. The GWP depends on the following factors, the absorption of infrared radiation by a given species, the spectral location of its absorbing wavelengths, the atmospheric lifetime of the species. Thus, a high GWP correlates with a large infrared absorption and a long atmospheric lifetime. The dependence of GWP on the wavelength of absorption is more complicated. Even if a gas absorbs radiation efficiently at a certain wavelength, this may not affect its GWP much if the atmosphere already absorbs most radiation at that wavelength. A gas has the most effect if it absorbs in a window of wavelengths where the atmosphere is fairly transparent. The dependence of GWP as a function of wavelength has been found empirically and published as a graph, because the GWP of a greenhouse gas depends directly on its infrared spectrum. The use of infrared spectroscopy to study greenhouse gases is centrally important in the effort to understand the impact of human activities on global climate change. Global temperature change potential. The global temperature change potential is another way to quantify the ratio change from a substance relative to that of CO2. In global mean surface temperature, used for a specific time span. Importance of time horizon. Note that a substance's GWP depends on the time span over which the potential is calculated. A gas which is quickly removed from the atmosphere may initially have a large effect but for longer time periods as it has been removed becomes less important. Thus methane has a potential of 34 over 100 years but 86 over 20 years. Conversely sulfur hexafluoride has a GWP. WP of 22,800 over 100 years but 16,300 over 20 years. The GWP value depends on how the gas concentration decays over time in the atmosphere. This is often not precisely known and hence the values should not be considered exact. For this reason when quoting a GWP it is important to give a reference to the calculation. The GWP for a mixture of gases can be obtained from the mass fraction weighted average of the GWPs of the individual gases. Commonly, a time horizon of 100 years is used by regulators. Values. Carbon dioxide has a GWP of exactly 1. The values given in the table assume the same mass of compound is released. This must not be confused with chemical reactions in which masses change from reactants to products. For instance, burning methane to carbon dioxide would indeed reduce the global warming impact, but by a smaller factor than the one given in the table because the mass of methane burning is less than the mass of carbon dioxide released. If you started with one ton of methane which has a GWP of 25, 
After combustion you have 2.75 tons of CO2, each ton of which has a GWP of 1. The effect of this burning is to reduce the global warming effect of the gas released in the ratio 25 to 2.75 or, by about 9. Similarly, for each ton of methane burned to CO2, the CO2 equivalent is reduced by 25 ton 2.75 ton equals 22.25 ton. The global warming potential of perfluorotributylamine over a 100-year time horizon has been estimated to be approximately 7,100. It has been used by the electrical industry since the mid-20th century for electronic testing and is a heat transfer agent. PFDBA has the highest radiative efficiency of any molecule detected in the atmosphere to date. The researchers found an average of 0.18 parts per trillion of PFDBA in Toronto air samples, whereas carbon dioxide exists around 400 parts per million. Water vapor. Water vapor has a profound infrared absorption spectrum with more and broader absorption bands than CO2, and also absorbs non-zero amounts of radiation in its low-absorbing spectral regions. Its GWP is therefore difficult to calculate. Further, its concentration in the atmosphere depends on air temperature and water availability, using a global average temperature of tilde 16 degrees Celsius, for example, creates an average humidity of tilde 18,000 ppm at sea level. Another issue with calculating GWP is that, unlike other GHG, water vapor does not decay in the environment, so an average over some time period as some other measure consistent with time-dependent decay, Q, V, above must be used in lieu of the time-dependent decay of artificial or excess CO2 molecules. Other factors complicating its calculation of the Earth's temperature distribution, and the differing land masses in the northern and southern hemispheres.